Are you unsure about cleaning your bird's enclosure and how you can do it? Maybe you're worried you're not doing enough or that you're doing too much. Well today I'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve a nice clean home for your birds to live in. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel where I help you with finch info tips and tricks. When it comes to the hygiene side of keeping finches, maintaining a clean environment for them to live in is hugely important. They'll wipe the beaks on all manner of surfaces and walk around on as well as eat off the floor that they defecate on. They can't clean for themselves so it's up to us as responsible finch keepers to make sure that the homes are as clean and as safe as can be. Today I'm going to show you exactly how that can be achieved by explaining my own weekly regime. My birds are in a large flight but the same methods can be applied to enclosures of all sizes so let's get started and take a look at how this can be done. Once you've got everything ready that you'll need to use, section off one half of your enclosure or if this isn't an option for you, remove your birds and place them in a holding cage. Once the partition is in place you can concentrate on cleaning one half at a time without disturbing or stressing your birds out. Remove everything from the enclosure floor and then remove and dispose of your substrate. Before taking out your tray or trays to wash them, you can give them a good clean to remove any excess bird and food waste. In my case, this saves having to wash any old seed, food and poop waste down the drain. You'll be washing and disinfecting these trays shortly, so no need to be too precise with this bit. Once the trays are cleaned, remove them and if your enclosure has a floor under where your trays lie, clean up any excess waste so now you're able to concentrate on cleaning the rest of the enclosure. I start by using a waste remover to clean any nooks and crannies and to remove any dirt or residual dander that can't be removed without wiping. During this part I wipe the flooring area, the enclosure back and sides and any hard to reach bits such as edges or returns. Make sure that your wiping is thorough and that you clean every inch of the enclosure interior. The waste remover does exactly what it says on the tin but won't remove any germs or bacteria. So once you've thoroughly cleaned the interior, do it all again but this time you need to use a potent but safe disinfectant. I use F10 which is a broad spectrum disinfectant formulated to kill all known types of avian pathogens. After spraying the interior and any fixed contents, leave it to air dry for 10 minutes and then spray some more F10 on your cloth so you can wipe all the surfaces again and then leave to air dry. Now remove your perches and any other detachable contents to prepare them for a good clean. As my bird's enclosure is quite big and has quite a few perches, I push a bit of tissue through where they've been taken from. This just helps me to make sure that they go back into the same place where my birds are used to them being. Once everything is removed from the interior and wire or mesh sides, thoroughly wipe them down with a separate cloth that has waste remover and disinfectant on, making sure to remove any waste in the process from both inside and outside. Whilst your enclosure is now left to air dry, you can begin cleaning your trays and other contents. Give your trays a good rinse with hot water, spray them all over with a pet safe disinfectant and leave to sit for 10 minutes. During this time you can begin to clean your perches and other contents. For my perches I use a scouring pad, some mild antibacterial dish soap and hot water. It's vitally important to make sure that once this is done you rinse them thoroughly in hot water to remove all residual soap. You can now leave these to sit and air dry while you go and clean your trays. Now that they've been soaking for 10 minutes, scrub them all over with a coarse sponge or scouring pad, paying close attention to any corners, ridges or edges so that you reach every inch on all sides. Once this is done, rinse them completely and if possible, leave them to air dry for a while so that you can attend to your other duties. Your perches should now almost be dry, so now you can begin to clean and sterilise your drinkers. First, clean your drinkers using the same methods as you did with the perches, but with a bottle brush instead of a scourer they are now ready to be sterilised. In my opinion sterilisation is extremely important and will prevent your birds from being exposed to large amounts of bacteria that have built up during the doubling process. It won't stop your birds maintaining a good immune system which can be built via exposure to everyday bacterias because that happens with exposure to very small quantities. Unclean water bottles could potentially contain doses too large for everyday exposure and so sterilisation will kill those off. Some people choose not to sterilise and just prefer to clean instead. I personally like to sterilise the drinkers every couple of weeks, despite thoroughly cleaning them every day. This just allows me peace of mind and also means that I don't need to dispose of and replace them as regular if they weren't sterilised. 
You can do this with any feeding containers too, although if like me, you use stainless steel, daily cleaning and weekly disinfecting will suffice. Whilst the drinkers and any other contents are being sterilised, you can begin to replace your other enclosure contents as the perches and trays should now be dry. If there is any remaining water on your trays, make sure that they're completely dry before putting them back into the enclosure. Once the perches are replaced, I give them a quick spray with my F10 so that I can ensure they are completely bacteria free, which may not be the case having only scrubbed them with dish soap. The trays can now be put back to and covered with fresh newspaper or your own choice of substrate. Now that your food and water containers are cleaned too, they can be put back into place if they came from the side that you've just cleaned and your birds can be allowed back into the newly cleaned section while you repeat the interior cleaning process on the other half. Just remember that these methods can be easily adapted to suit your schedule and needs. The aim is to provide a safe clean environment where your birds have a low risk of exposure to bacteria and disease. The health and well-being of your birds is hugely important and the peace of mind you get from knowing that they're safe makes it all worthwhile.